And we are back in Hyrule. Welcome. I'm collecting the friendship squad. Only one friend has not been acquired. But let us begin. Who's with all these... All these wells. Well, well, well. Let's start with... The West Nakluda. Because I've been here, but I didn't see Pin. But he's at all the stables. He has to be here somewhere. A very nice Mark's friend Caesar unexpectedly shows up at his house, but is acting very strangely. Is it really Caesar or someone else? Something else? I don't know. What do you think it is? Ow, oh, man! Think I could survive this? Yeah, again. <laughs> Let's get our journalism clothes on. Of course, every journalist needs one of these. Than this. Now that's fashion. And I got soggy feet. <laughs> Sandals in the water. Oh man, it's gonna, gonna make my toes all squishy. Hen, where are you? He's at every stable. He's gotta be here somewhere. Or not? You ever be about Technoblade? I did. And well, there's a Korok. That's not a bird. That's nothing you need to know, Diego. My bird. Is he just not at this one? I need to check. Is there like a... Is there a quest for this? No? There's no quest for for the for the shr for the uh, the stables, so I can't tell where I have and haven't been. Oh hey, Wizrobe. So I don't even know if Pin is here. There's Addison. Of course he is. But I want the froggy outfit. All right, I'll look around over here, and if I can't find him, then I'll just go to a different stable and assume that he doesn't go here. You don't even go here. Like, oh my God. Doo -doo. What's that? That's a silver goblin. I already said, it's none of your business, Diego. Do not ask that again.
That's not a bird. They're going to die, though, if they keep going that way. There's a bunch of goblins at the end of the road. Yeah, I'm just going to assume Pin doesn't go here. All right. <laughs> Definitely not helping his case. Not at all. Did you ever watch Dreams Reveal last year? I heard a lot of people make a stink about it, but I literally didn't care. Whoa, yippee! <laughs> A bunch of people being mad that he was a person, I guess. <sighs> Please be at this stable, this stable pin. You know, in their desire to move these, <laughs> the shrines into different places, sometimes they really put them way out of the way. There's our boy. Great stories here, but... Oh. Partner, you're here! I should have known you'd come to this table too. Anyone with a beak for sniffing out news can tell this place has potential. A god of horses, suspicious events at the nearby laboratory. We get ink a wink, week's worth of issues about the goings on in this place alone. Huh. But I have bad news. The, head the headline is no leads on princess at this stable. No chirps, no warbles, nothing. Pains me to leave knowing how many articles I could have hatched here. There's nothing to do but take wing and head for another stable. Anyway, off I go. So long. Okay. What's well, analog horror again? I forgot like last month. Well, I don't believe that you forgot. But it's like horror series that have the aesthetic of like 90, like 80s to 90s tech. Stable is. Yep, there it is. See it on the minimap. Let's go. Maybe there's a lead in Elden. There's really nothing to do in Akala, is there? <laughs> I guess there's Terrytown now. Which, after we do all of the journalism, we might do. I've never actually been to Terrytown because I've never done the quest. Oh my god. Dog Squad. You ever watch The Amazing World of Gumball? Nope. Underpants? Hmm. Oh. There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Well, now I have. Oh my god, that one's a hero. Ah. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sorcerers. Yes, that's how that word's pronounced. They said that Princess Zelda ordered all the members of the Zonai survey team to dress that way. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to Goron City. But they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous to walk around, around here, to walk around just in their underpants. They won't listen to me, though. They insist on following Princess Zelda's orders. Hmm. I've also heard that some of the underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. They went to look into a monster den up the mountain, up the mountain road, and haven't come back yet. Uh, they're dead. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These chirps and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. I just know it. Why are you naked? What is this guy doing? Mind and body! 
as one. Two. Ha! Ha! From now on, we of the survey team must pursue excellence on two fronts at once. Mind and body. Hmm. Princess Zelda, in all her brilliance, has given us marching orders. We must live up to her expectations. Princess Zelda's orders. Uh, uh, hello there, traveler. You have an interest in the brilliant guidance of Princess Zelda, too. The order that she gave to the survey team was word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. And Traveler, I will tell you, when Princess Zelda gave our team those marching orders, we marched. So that's why we're here, surveying monsters in our underpants. Oh. Why not join our efforts here? Our survey work has never felt more adventurous than in our underpants. Something tells me that this is making fun of all of the people that played Breath of the Wild in their underwear. <laughs> These people need fashionable clothing. If only we knew someone. You ever like R. Kelly's music? Not, I, eh. But I will join them. But the hat stays on. If Zelda says so, I guess. For our princess! I guess we have to go save the dudes from the cave. Hopefully they're not dead. Nah, they're fine. Everyone knows the goblins don't kill you if you're naked. The Maw of Death Mountain. Ooh, hot water on my feet. Get it all up in between my toesies. Splash that water in between my toes. Yes! Nice and clean. Simple and clean. What R. Kelly did wrong. Oh, he did a lot wrong. I will not be discussing that here. Where is this cave? Ah, probably that. Oh, they're not going in. Don't get trench foot. What if I get itchy foot? Ha! Fireproof lizard. Ha! Dead bird. A whole bird! And it's thigh. Just one of them. The other one is... The other one exploded. What up, nerds? Ah, here I go! <laughs> Princess Zelda has given the order. So here we go, Sango! Aww. It won't be scary if we both go together. All at once. We count of three. Three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Sango, why didn't you go? You didn't move either, Durant. Oh, uh, what's going on? <laughs> ah! <sighs> it's one of us, just another survey team member. <laughs> they say that because I'm naked. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Oh. We're trying to construct research on the monsters hold up in this cave. But look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team. And then it's this word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way. But we're really only members of the survey team. Uh. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any. Mm. Uh, if only someone could do this, show us how it's done. Well, then we could try it to do it without gear, too. I'll try it. 
Wait, are you serious? You're in your underpants, so you look prepared to take this on. But we'll hold on to any gear you have, all right? Okay. Now then, I'll hold on to any equipment you may have. They want to take my hat? They stole my hat! Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident in the whole physical side of this. All right, time to go sumo slap around a bunch of moblins. All right. I don't even get my friends. I was scared for half a second <laughs> that my paraglider wouldn't open. I was about, I was... Ah, uh, that was frightening. But we're okay. They took all my things. You know what? That's fine. Stop asking, Diego. Never realized how short Link is. He's like 4'2". Yeah, boy is tiny. Ooh, a toasty shroom. Dun 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 What's that? Arrows? Who needs those? Ah! I've been spotted! Get his ass! Alright, give me that. Need fuse. You stick. That's a big boy. Give me this. Give me this. Ha! I don't have any arrows. Shit! Get over the box. <laughs> Wait a minute, a knight's broadsword? Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Stay back! Yeah! Alright. This guy is a problem. Well, he would have been if his armor wasn't weak! Pathetic. All right, you. What up, buddy? Come here. Come here. Oops. Ah! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh! Ow! He just kicked me in the face! Fuck you! Give me your horn. Mine now. It's just that easy, don't you know? Just learn Zonai fusion magic, and you can take them all any time. Actually. Okay, not, not quite what I wanted. Yeah! Eh? Eh? Try again! All right, so throwing the mallet at the rock is not not gonna work. I need to get in here, Bubble Frog. Why, hello there. Hat. I would appreciate you if you'd stop asking me these questions, Diego. Get down here.
mine. There you go. That's how you clear your cave full of monsters. Hat. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I can't drop it. Why not? Whatever. I did it. Oh. Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. Huh? What? You actually really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants. Want to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work? Please join us back at Foothill Stable. Can I have my clothes? Thank you. Okay, then I'll return the gear that was holding for you. Mm. We'll be head back to Foothill Stable and wait for you there. Link is 5'2". Yeah, he's... He is a short king, as they say. Who's they? I don't know. But they do. And he is. Oh, are you separated from your friend? Oh, they're all the way over there. Oh man, that's a shame. Well, buddy. I hope someone can help you out later. Not enough. There you go. Oh my God, they're floatable. They are super buoyant. Okay. Sneeze. I muted. <laughs> hey, you didn't get to hear me sneeze. No sneeze for you. Yep. Oh, yeah, Goron. How you doing, buddy? Quiet gameplay. It's me. The no commentary, Michaelis. Long player. My back. It's always my back. I, I'm not even like, I don't even have like bad posture. My back just always hurts. I hate this. Because of my curved spine. I don't know if I do have a curved spine. I honestly don't. Although when I was in middle school, I was the, the nurse when she did the... Um... Like, the checkup was, like, your spine is all kinds of fucked. And I was like, oh. Well, thanks. <laughs> All right. This right there. Whoop. And finally, support. Here you go, Addison. Perfect. With the great power comes great responsibility. That's true. Wait, where'd Addison go? He was just here. Where'd he go? Addison! Huck, huck. 
when we realize that he's muted. <laughs> Made you look. Oh my god. But now I'm mostly concerned about where he where Addison went. I think he died. Well, all right. He did a little magic trick. He did a little goofy activity. He didn't come over here, did he? I can wear clothes soon. Let's hold out and wait for the blood moon to pass. Oh. Ah. When the glow of the blood stained moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insert my dad left me joke. Oh no, Daddison. The moon shouldn't be receding that quickly. You imagine what that would do to the tides? Nope, he didn't come back. Well, <sighs> Addison's dead. With great power comes great responsibility. Mm hmm. That is Spider Man. Alright, anyway. Hello, everybody. Oh, great, you came! Hey everybody, this is the one who did the survey team a great service, defeating the monsters in just his underpants. Oh. Incredible! At least tell this how, how this is actually done. Magic. Oh. Um, excuse me. What's with all this with wearing only underpants? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Yes, you haven't heard Princess Zelda. Wait. Oh, sorry. I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. Uh... Oh, I got the order too, that's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore all other paths. All underpants. Not what you guys thought. <gasps> was that? Then all this time we spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time? Hmm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body and to go outside to push ourselves. She literally said a touch grass. You excel like never before. Is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have been truly tested. Ah. Come on! Let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever! And they never wore clothes again. This is a family-friendly game. Incredibly friendly. Uh-huh. I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. What a story! Team, you botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure. Princess Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. Mm. We've worked together for cha- Oh, my internet is dying. Uh-oh. Hopefully it chills out soon. This is a problem. Zero KBS? Oh my god. Hello? Can anyone hear me? My frames! Oh, it's going away again. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Thought that was on my end. Nope, this is my internet doing this. It's been fine for months. Why is it now causing problems? It was it started off bad yesterday, and now it's going bad today. Ah. 
And there's a phone call. All right. We're going to take a quick break. All right, internet seems to have chilled, and the phone call is over. You like Jim Carrey movies? I do like Jim Carrey movies. It's a sign. No, that's a sign. That seems to be standing up on its own supernaturally. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. One other thing, Tracy sent along a bonus. Oh my god. Pretty rare gear that'll make it even easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights, partner. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself after all. Bye. So long. Bye-bye. I am a frog. Frogfish. Well, that was goofy. A warm Saflina. Interesting. Eh. Oh, hello. This well. Water quality, good. Moss growth, limited. Bright caps, present. All right, that's everything. All jotted down. Hello. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this, right? You wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Nope. <gasps> really? I'd hoped you'd have a deep love of wells like I do. Nice to meet you anyway, my name's Farah. Still, you are here. That must mean you don't mind them. Wells, that is. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Wow. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could on the subject, I learned that there are 58 wells. Oh. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. You seem to be a, a traveler, so if you've happened to spot any wells, how about you tell me about their locations? I've oh. spotted several. I'll reward you, of course. Um, how does 10 rupees per location sound? Okay. Really? That's fantastic. All right, then tell me everything. Uh, here's one, and here's one, and here's one, and here's one, and here's one. Thanks, so 17 of them this time. I give you 10 rupees per location. That's 170 rupees total. All yours. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all of these wells. Let's see how many are left across I rule. Oh, there's still a total of 41 to find. You can find wells all over the place, and towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm gonna look to I'm gonna look out landing next. There's a well there I wanna see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Well, well, well. Where are the wells? I don't know. What I, uh, what I do know for real. The only thing I know for real. Is that I need to go? Like right around here. I know that there's a stable around there. Riverside, I believe it is. Hey, 
Hey, it's actually right here. Pen! Are you here? Better be. Oh, it's Wetland Stable. Where's Riverside then? I guess Riverside's on the other side. Let me investigate. I thought there was a stable, like, right over here. Ah, there it is. Put a pin in it. Literally. And there's... That's not a stable. That's a stable. Put a pin in that one as well. All right, sick. Pen! What trouble you causing today? Journalism. How are you, Jonathan? Hey, there he is. We're doing side stuff. We're doing the... The pet... Why does he keep getting all these birds? Are those your friends, Pen? You're lucky your friends are immune to fire. Yeah, how you doing, Jonathan? Hey, partner. You have a good day? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We can squawk about it all later. Oh. I've got an interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them, and didn't. Now this might all seem trivial. She's a busy, pri busy prison. Pri Still, these are strange times. So I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Ben, hold on, you're gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts! When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here, watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. The raft? I guess this guy. Surprise. I mean, really, why? Uh... Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Pin from the newspaper, right? Ah. Didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to, th to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed of Sable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Ah. It was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Floret Sandbar. It's around the river, river bend and then a good distance after that. I take the raft there myself, but after that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a tough time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Ah. Uh. I know we could clear this mess up if someone could float me down river to the Flore sandbar on the raft. Well, well, well. You need a pilot, do ya? Well, lucky you. I can drive boats. Put it in the water. And this is a battery? Yeah, it is. Install. Now, is there anything else over here? Nope, just that. And some wild-ass street junkie 20 minutes ago, and he wanted to bite my face. I'm here to wind down. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Ah. <sighs> I wonder why Princess Zelda hasn't given the won't give the stable's tools back. I want to go down river to Florid Sandbar and find out what happened, but I'm having a hard time with the raft. I can drive you. Ah. 
What? You mean that fella? You'll take me to Floyd Sandbar? Oh. Thanks. Can't tell you much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Okay. Sup? Point oh three update just came out. That's cool. Congratulations, Blaze Ross. Also, how are you? Here we go to save the day. I don't know where Florid Sandbar is. Guessing it's that. Good. That's good to hear. Turn wide. Yeah, I'm guessing we have to get all the way to the end. Past those ruins. Easy enough. Don't crash. This boat will never sink. I won't sink to your level, riverbed. Foul and scheming beasts. Oh, hey, a Korok. Speed up! I don't know if I'm actually going any faster. I don't think that changed my speed at all, but it makes me feel better. Yee hee! Is that where we're going? Stop near that dock. You got it. Ram the dock. I understand the assignment. Hold on to your diapers, babies. We're going in. Oh. Woohoo! I made it! Oh man, I wanted to crash! Disappointed! Ah! Did a great job getting us here! Would you learn how to handle a raft like that? Driving school. Thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. How will you get ah. back? Huh? Up in the sky, there's something, uh, someone coming at us! Is it Pen? Yep, there he is. Woo, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you chased down our story, so I flew right on down to help. But, uh, where are we? Uh. Oh, no. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out. You'll rule the day you trample on any of them. It's flower blight. Whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? Huh? <laughs> so sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them! Wait a minute, farm tools? You say something about farm tools? Huh. That's right! Some farm tools from our stable, I want them back! Huh. Oh, well, that's my fault, I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here. But the princess, well, they say she went missing. Oh. And all of our hard work was ruined when... Oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to make it all nice again. Oh. Really? That's what happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable stools back. Oh. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. I'll feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. All this, all this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, hmm? 
Sounds like our princess, just like our princess, to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Oh. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Ah. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also... Nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? Wow. You said your help! I accept your offer. Uh. What? I didn't say that. Ma. Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this old garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a little tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah. <sighs> Can't talk this my way out of this one. And she'd, uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. Oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Hey, I mean, your job was staring at a raft. Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted. And those two worked it out loud, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. You know, we've chased five leads. Ah. Investigations are the talk of the office of the Loki Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg. 100 rupees. Oh my god. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around. So long. Bye bye, Pin. I have an apple. This poor guy got conscripted into growing flowers. <laughs> Maybe it'll work out. Maybe. So this was a thing that happened before the the upheaval. So this has nothing to do with Zelda's disappearance at all. Well, that was fun. Let's go over here. Put on my Zora clothes to get across the river. Swim! Here we go. Now this is fashion. And I am headed... where? I don't re I don't remember where the stable is! I'm lost! Was that Farosh? I think that's Farosh! My boy, the big lightning dragon. Trying to light nearby, you don't say. They changed the sound. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, I know, I see it. I see it! Stop telling me! Ah, oh, there's the stable. So we get this shrine, so this will shut up! And then go do the pin quest. Is there another shrine over there? Oh my god, so many, so many shrines. Oh, hey, pin. Talk to you in just a second, buddy. Badger Cat's Shrine. Battle Cats, go! <laughs> Thunder Cats, ho! Oh! Building with logs. Oh, I can do that. Never been lost, just powerfully confused going in the wrong direction. That's the attitude to take in life. <laughs> Why'd you climb at that time? Whatever. 
The confusion is palpable and powerful. I am going to build the biggest floater log you've ever seen. In just one second. There we go. Now that's a powerful floater. Papa. Can I set it somewhere, please? Nailed it. Careful, careful. <laughs> E I did it! All right, come here, log. Long, long, log. Log. Now this is what I call hard wood. I don't get lost anymore. I'm far too powerful to get lost. Meowm. <laughs> Meowm. <laughs> Let's reinforce our bridge here a little bit. Put a leg right there. Put you like right there. Move it over a little bit. And put this like right here. Whoopsie. There we go. I can just set it right like that. Perfection! Oh. Well, well, well. I wonder what this shrine wants me to do. Could it be build a raft? No. Not in this shrine. How many do we have? Nine? Perfect! That's just what I need. An even number. Link in logs. <laughs> now that's a funny joke. <laughs> Oopsie! They're right there. They're, they're right there. There we go. Dang, that's a long path. Luckily, I have more log. More log! I'm going to build a bridge and get over it. this entire shrine. Not quite. But very close. Drop that log is going to be a splasher. It is. Definitely is. You better wash your ace. Hmm. Toilet shrine. Doesn't go. It doesn't go all the way. What the? How far is this thing? 
Jesus. All right, log needs more expansion. An orthodox creation, I suppose. Your biggest fan. There we go. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. <sighs> I'd like to think of myself as an innovator. Someone who's unbothered by such mundane things as giant lakes. As long as I've got wood, I'm untouchable. All right, Ben, I hear the chaps. Get away from- oh my god, they keep adding birds. Oh. I've been hearing some chirps and wobbles from my little birds. <laughs> yeah? They say some regular guests of the stable are late to arrive. Very late. Hmm. The chef here, Gata, was to meet with, uh, with them to learn a new recipe. One that Princess Zelda taught them. My keen reporter instincts say that something is wrong here. Goddard has been over there waiting for the guest to arrive. He's barely moved the whole time. He's dead. Hmm. Let's see. It's not unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? But what if they're unable to? They're coming to share a recipe from Princess Zelda, too. That could be a part of this. Oh. These traps and wobbles are worth looking into. I guess I go talk to... to the guy. Riverside Stable. Got her. What's up, buddy? No sign of him. Be an innovator if it wasn't for the you no know, stupidity. I've got I've got triangle brain. And I've still accomplished it. I believe in your power. Mm. Something isn't right. Agus and the rest would have to cross that bridge to get here, but what's going on? Mm. Oh, I didn't notice you were there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we were expecting. But it's well past when they said they'd be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. They've always crossed the old Owlin Bridge in the past when they were coming here. Figured if I kept an eye on the bridge, I'd catch sight of them eventually. The guests are all gourmets. Their leader, a chef named Argus, has taught me a lot about cooking. They were all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. If August and the others have tents, then maybe they're taking the trip nice and slow, camping along the way. Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. So are they, like, camping, or do they get caught by monsters? Or maybe they are in a wagon and their wagon broke. And I gotta fix it! Okay, there's just straight up silver silver bacoblins everywhere now. Awesome! Those guys terrify me. They do so much damage. It hurts very badly. I need to get good at this video game, but I'm too bad at video games to get good at them. Whatever will I do? Oh, August. Oh, hey. It's a camp. I wonder. What's that? What is that? A 
I'll be with you in just a minute. This thing's shiny and I'm distracted. I'm also go hitchhiking. Packed everything up except my shoes. I had sandals on. Ah, oh, nice. Literally that big of a dumbass. I semi-regularly have to walk like back back and forth across town because I keep forgetting whether or not I've locked doors and I need to check to make sure I locked it and I don't think about it until I get until I get home and I'm like I don't think I locked the door and I have to turn around and walk all the way back that happens on a semi-regular basis not as much as it used to but it used to happen a lot you like Will Smith I do like Will Smith What is this? Yeah! Come here. Alrighty. You get down here! Down here, I said. Yeah. Why'd Will Smith slap Chris Rock? Why do you keep asking me all of these drama, like, like drama questions? Get it? There you go. Korok acquired. All right, time to see what these guys want. Why are you all stuck here in a camp? There's fine dining to be had! The pain... Oh my. You ever play Undertale? I did. Hmm. Oh, help, please. Princess uh, her recipe is written. Oh, don't improvise. Uh-oh. Princess Zelda's meat and rice bowl. Raw meat, Hylian rice, and rock salt. Powers that be decided to be a good publicity stunt for a show any nobody watches. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, but okay. Raw meat, rice, and salt. Favorable comfortable dishes to fill you with energy. Follow the recipe to the letter. Oh, I guess they made terrible food. Raw meat? Do I have rice? Should. Let's sort by type. Rock salt. Wait, I actually don't have any rice. Which Undertale creature likely to get contained by the SCP Foundation? Any of them. Give me the rice. Better be some rice here. Get out of my way, Cricket! I'm rice hunting! There's a Hinox over yonder! I'm gonna need to go elsewhere to get rice. Ugh. It's always rice. Why are there so many tomatoes? Yeah, 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 get out of here, Octorock. Rock. I'm busy. There's like a million tomatoes to gather. Now you've done yourself in. Now you die. All conspiracies, man. 
The man, man! Screw that tomato plant. The ears have walls. Oh God, the ears have walls. All I need is a single sheath of rice. It's actually pronounced sheaf, but I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. Go destroy the forest, Renobo. Oops. You figure the, the ingredients for this would be like right here, right? Oh, I think animal meat, right? Maybe? Uh, first, first rule of cooking, always follow the recipe. Who suggested monster meat? Oh god, they made... Yeah, they, they made bad food. Dumbass! Alright, I'm going to go get some rice. Gotta go all the way over here! Ooh, ah, ooh, rib. My rib cage is hurting. It does that at random. Feels like someone's stabbing me right in the bone. But I'm okay. I'm not actually being stabbed. I went to the wrong shrine, but that's okay. I'm just... Oh, hey, Nadra. We can just fly on down. Wait, this guy might sell rice. Excuse me, sir. Do you sell rice? Why are you still here? Which monsters from horror movie would most likely contain get contained? Any of them. Do you sell rice? No. Slap it works every time. Well, I've got too much padding. And it's like inside. It's it doesn't matter. I'm sure I'm not dying. Probably. Slap party, you got it. You got some rice. Hey. Give me all your rice. Oh. Oh. All right. Back over here we go. I wish the rice had been here. Said slap it, not beat it purple. Instructions unclear. Meat beating attempted. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, my neck. Stop spasming, I hate that. <sighs> I need to reach my friend. Well, where is he? All the way down there? Well, you know the best way to reach him. It's through the river. Yo, 
You'll get there in no time, buddy. Danalog horror monster. It, the the foundation contains everything. <laughs> Wait, will I not be able to cook here because of the rain? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More tomatoes, sick. Their fire is rainproof. Oh. Interesting. Anyway, I'm here to save your guys' life. Let's see, it was some meat, rice, and salt. Cook it! <laughs> meat and rice bowl. That sounds delicious. Here you go. Aww. Yeah, please. The recipe is written. Don't improvise. Here you go. It looks amazing. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> that, that smell. <laughs> hey, you! Yeah, you! Can I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please, I need to eat it! Okay. You remind me of a sober oxhorn. What, the, the fedora guy? This. I recognize this flavor. <laughs> this is the recipe Princess Zelda shared with us! Joe, Telly, and I hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Princess Zelda taught us how to cook the dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Uh... But I do remember now that she said exact. We needed to follow the re recipe exactly. Uh, whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of real meat? Uh, that was me, I'm sorry. I was just curious what it would taste like. You ate the dubious food. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster birds. Uh, the road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Uh, Now's the, not the time to sit and figure out best practices for future dietary exploits. We've got to get to Rizif Riverside Stable. Riverside We're so late. I'm sure Goddard has been worrying about us. Ah. We really are grateful for your help. Let me say again on behalf of everyone. Thank you. You don't even know us, but you used valuable, valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Some rice. And this. And a rock salt. <gasps> and finally, a gourmet meat. <laughs> hey, yo, Pog. We like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all the cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, we better get ready and head to Riverside Stable, since we plan to be there. Well, before now. Aww. I have to get going. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. Bye-bye. God. Making me want beef and broccoli. Beef and broccoli with white rice. Oh, fuck, I'm hungry. Well, if it isn't my partner! Oi! Oi! Oh. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chased down any leads at all? I fed them dinner. <laughs> what? They were right here, too quizzy to even move. And you even helped them get back on their feet again? <laughs> Interesting! So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We've worked hard to six. Yeah. It's never time for a break, you know. Better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened to you. Go on and add this to your nest egg. A recipe from Princess Zelda, perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Ah, the article almost writes itself. Almost. Bye. So long. Wish the article did write itself. Now that's future science. 
All right, now we need to head all the way down there. Let's take the, the expressway. And by that, I mean, let's shoot ourselves out of a cannon. And dive comically headfirst into the dirt. That's the only way to make it. Do the best Obama impression. I'm not good at, at impressions. I don't think I don't think I can help you with that. What are these islands for? Also. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are shooting stars? How far away is the stable? Uh... Oh, Jesus! We're going to be flying for a little bit. Is the Gleox still there? I can't tell. I am tempted to dive headfirst into that whirlpool, but I will not. Why is this all foggy? What's going on here? Oh, I am attracting electricity right now. All right, we're good. What the? Oh, these little... You see those little antennas on like the bottom of the island? These. This has to be the floating stone that makes the islands fly. Because we confirmed that the floating stone item that you can use, that you, like you hit it and it floats and it floats for a bit. That's the, that's what they made the. That's how they made the floating islands work. The zoni. Was they used that? I almost made it. What is that? Yeah, I know there's a shrine nearby. It's like right there. There's another Gleok. Oh my God. This land is inhospitable. I, uh, you. He roasted my tomatoes. Do you like to talk to tomatoes? When you're in the grocery aisle. Utsu shock. Every day I'm shocked. Every night I'm shocked. That's a reference no one's going to get. <laughs> Long or wide? Hmm, skinny penis. Slap that ass! Hmm, yaoi pedal. Y'all remember the Yowie paddle? That was a time. I remember. I bet it's not going to work again. That was true, it didn't work again. What if I put this metal weight behind it? Whoo! 
Now that's physics. All right, this one needs extendo. Or I could just say, screw your shrine. I'm out of here. Later. <laughs> Puzzles? Me? No. I ain't doing that shit. I don't give a fuck. God, that was an ancient voice clip line. Ye oldie days. Where's that guy in a tent? Why are there so many campers out here? None of them happy. Now, where is my boy? There he is. Excuse me while I throw myself in this hole. Get you later, I got work to do. I understand. Hopefully your work goes well. But thank you for hanging out, Jonathan. And have a good day. I'm going to, uh... Murder this little dude. This duder. Stick your tongue out. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Kill it! Have a good one, dude. Ski you too, my dude. Ow! Cut! Poked me in the butt. What a rude dude. Oh my god, it's a katana. I don't want that. Take your tongue out. Dodge! Oh god! Silver! Put that back! I wasn't done! Oh god, 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 oh god. Eh. Give me cover! Slap the sack! Oh god, that hurt! You know what? Screw you! You get him, Tulin. All right, I need a full heal. Now this is going to be a problem. Why'd you hit the treasure chest? Stop that! Yeah! Yeet! <laughs> Give me that fish. Hot! Thanks for the block, buddy. Whew. Wow, screw that guy. <laughs> I can't get the treasure chest because of the water. Put it out of the water. There we go. Yep. Oh my god, it's a cool katana. Uh. Trade it for that, I guess. I have an idea. The ultimate katana. Yes. 
It's got the little jiggly. Look at it. Sad that it turned around. I was hoping it would stay katana shaped, but here we are. It's got the little little dingly. Oh my god! They're here to resurrect as slimes! That was a very sloppy reference. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Ninja time. What is making that sound? Pop! I have an idea. Meat arrow! Ha! He doesn't care about the meat arrow. And that was his downfall. Should have eaten my arrow, fool! Ignore the ghost. <laughs> I don't need you. Get out of here. God, this place just keeps going. Oh, boy. I need that for fishing. Electricity is the ultimate fishing rod. Hmm. Big rock. Go, Ron! What the? The Como Shoreline Cave. Ah, so there is somewhere in here is a frog. I need to find the frog. Kill frog. But the million dollar question of the day is where frog? Not a where frog, that's a different issue. But a where frog? Come here. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest here. Completely missed that the first time. <sighs> Ancient... <gasps> An ancient dagger-like blade. It's too small to wield as a weapon, but it can be used as an arrowhead. F f 50 attack power! What the hell? That's that good shit. I don't see where the bubble frog would be at all. Well, I guess we didn't go this way, did we? No, wait, that's where we came from. Hmm, Bubble Frog isn't real. Ah, whatever. 
Back to pin. Pin! Talk to me. The princess's voice. Oh. Hey there, partner. Did you head this way after hearing the rumors? Even without wings, you've traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. Hmm. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice in you here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. Mm. For starters, the strange voice is crowning from Furrow Plain to the northwest, night after night after night. Leave the room, leave the rooms. At least it's what I heard. I didn't get too close. Mm. Got out of there fast, felt like a curse just blowing through, the through on the wind. No sir, not going to think about it. Anyway, all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Did the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is sink out the tooth. Truth, partner, even if it is a little scary. An eerie voice. Mm. Hey, partner, you're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are, me? Not at all, totally fine, just worried about you is all. Oh. What I'm saying is I think we should investigate this story together. I think we should leave at night. We'll be waiting right here, so just come and get me when night falls. Oh my god. We're going on an adventure with my boy. We'll do that in just a second. I want to go talk to... You know what? Terra's closer. Let's go talk to Terra. See if she can upgrade my champion armor. Hello, Miss Fairy. I need your upgrade. If you please. Wearing the cannon armor. It's cannon! The sled is cannon too. All right. Huh? It smells a bit of gloom, I think. Huh? Come to me and have your clothing in hands. Mm -hmm. Farrah, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Yes. Huh? Can I upgrade my champion's gear? No. I need another scale. Heck. Well, I can upgrade my... My... My depth pants. ba ba da ba da oh. um. Yep, 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 I know. I know. Uh, I know. Mm. I guess we're just upgrading random uh, stuff now because I might as well. I need the defense. Well, oh, I can upgrade it again. Yeah, upgrade it. Thank you, Tara. Oh. Now my gym oh. outfit is perfect. Mm. Should upgrade mm. my stealth gear. Because oh. I do run around as the ninja a lot, so we should have more defense. Mm. Self-guard chest. Level up! Upgrade my pans. In power pans! Thank you. These tights are stealthy. 
and upgrade the chest guard. Lovely. Now my stealth gear has a decent amount of defense. Let's see, what else? I guess we can upgrade the glide suit. I've got all these materials. I might as well, you know, I might as well spend them on something. I want the upgraded shirt. I need Arrokuda eyeballs. I need to go hunting Arrokudas to upgrade my glide outfit. E E A U T full. Upgrade my cr upgrade 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 my climbing gear as well. And again, you ever watched the Nightmare on Elm Street movies? I have not. Let's upgrade the Varudania helm. Now that was expensive. A whole ass ruby needs four? Jeez. Froggy sleeve. Empower frog. Oh my god, I need a lot of cave things. You ever watch Max and Ruby? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. Oh, you know, but that's, I think that's good enough for now. Watch Tells the YouTuber. I don't know who that is. Ever watch Mr. Nightmare's videos? I don't know who that is. Uh. That's the last of my caffeine. Sorry for the low energy. I don't know what's up with me today. Sometimes it'd be like this. The difference between the skinwalker and the alternate. Well, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Someone was whistling. Who is whistling? I don't know. I'm just gonna go to bed. Hello, Paddock. Give me that pony point. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I need to go inside. Aww. Like the Goosebumps series by R.L. Stein. I did like Goosebumps. I read it a lot when I was younger. Regular bed. Yeah, whatever. I'll use a ticket. I got plenty of them. Yeah, I love Goosebumps. Uh. Sun is finally set. Did you sleep all right? Yep. Hello. Hmm. Big great night, isn't it, partner? It's around the time. Ah, wrong voice. A pretty great night, isn't it, partner? It's around the time that the eerie voice has been heard on the furrow plain to the northwest. Stop asking where I'm from. Please, Diego. Folks say it happens night after night after night. Could it really be Princess Zelda, though? If it is her, then why is she doing it? Mm, I guess the only way to find out is to check for ourselves. Ready, partner? Let's go, partner. Uh, okay, we can do this, partner. 
It's headed for the furrow plain to the northwest. Follow me. Go get bay. Hey, partner, over here. God, he's all the way over there. That was fast. I'm gonna cannon up a little bit. There we go. Now that's a link. You're listening for a creepy voice? Leave the... Ah! <laughs> Did you hear that part now? Monka is... <laughs> That's the voice, all right, and it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda, though? Might be, but, but where is it coming from? My legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. Dude. Leave the rooms. Leave the rooms. If no, do you have... Hello? Ah, ah, ah. Do you harm? A well folk, leave the arms, leave the arms, for if not, I'll do you harm. What up? <laughs> Seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. Hello? Huh? What didn't you get here? You need something from me? It's a lady in a well. Are you Zelda? Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm. Seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. You also heard for if not, I'll do you harm. Leave your arms or I'll kill you. What kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing. And if you put it all together, seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. Hmm. It's a song about a cute little fox who's proud of their for warm fur coat. And they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything. But I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier, more refined. Hmm. It sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. Guess that explains why weapons keep getting thrown in the well every morning. Uh. They could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. Got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Hi. Hey, that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything! It's karaoke night. You ever watch American Psycho? I've never seen American Psycho. Now with it, partner, what did you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? Eh? It's just someone, uh, singing in a well. She's just practicing. Ah, huh, I see. Mm. And her voice echoed off the well's walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. The acoustics are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. <laughs> ah, so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help, partner. Mm. We worked together to chase seven mm. stories, really got in the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh. Nope, I almost forgot, partner. Tracy's been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Hey, free rupees. Went back to the office and write oh. this one up. I better hurry, too. One more more people thinking that the princess was casting spells from a well. Until next time, partner. Soar long. Bye bye. So what do we got here? A giant boomerang, a blue moblin smasher, a blue moblin pulverizer, a blue lizal reaper. I want the bomb flower. <gasps> Sticky lizard. Lizard! Okay, bye. Seek the storm. Seek the storm. Fear it not. 
You will be warm. So I have no idea where any other stables are. Um... There was one, like, right here, wasn't there? La 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 bamba. Ba da 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 da. Do 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 do. Ah, here it is. Scanning. Scanning, we've already been there. I don't think we've done the quest for this. We did the Tabantha one. I don't think there's a stable over here. Hmm. Well, let's go check the Serene Stable anyway. Because I don't think we did a quest here. We've been there, but I don't think we've done a quest. So let's go see if our boy is there. I thought the moon was a shiny mountain. Pen! Hey, there he is. Unbelievable. Hey, buddy. Care for that partner? You went and scared all the little birds away. Go storm around like that, even in a real storm. It won't just be the birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. I don't want to say this too loud and start a panic, but... Rumors are spreading about Miss Princess Zelda. That she's been seen riding some mysterious beast. Mm. Said to be a mountain of a beast, too. One with huge, brutal tusks. My little reporters have never seen something so frightening. Of course, what's made it far worse is that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Mm. Find it hard to believe that a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. But if this terrifying monster exists, then the implications make this a very, very huge story. You know, there were guests at the stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that a number have been that there have been a number of sightings in the subtropical tropical region in the south. If you want to learn more, we should dive beak first into this stable and others to see if there's truth to these rumors. <laughs> we just need to peck away at this until we find out if there's an enticing truth or elaborate fiction. The Beast and the Princess. Seem to happen more in the subtropical region of the south. Are we talking about elephants? Not much of a wagon. Yeah. Oh, customer? Better go inside. You don't want to get wet, do you? Kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. I don't really want... Don't have to help yeesh. Not as though I wouldn't live, be back. You can get all my savings, in fact. No, I'm... Weapons. Beast! <sighs> legendary weapon, you say. On you, give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title usually just stories. There's no way it exists. Mm -hmm. The rumor beast you're after, that's what's just a story. Hmm. Now, now, go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Oh. Even if I grant you that, we don't have stand anything to gain by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We'd have nothing to fear of monsters. Uh -huh. What if this le weapon is legendarily brittle and useless, huh? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. All right, so that didn't help. Hey. Have you heard rumors? Uh -huh. Nope. Hmm. Trying so hard not to say its name. It's an elephant is what they've described. Uh -huh. Look at this anime hair. 
<laughs> Ridiculous. Those two are still bickering even at this late hour. I don't care if it's that rumor beast or a legendary weapon. Can we just pick one and get going? Huh? Hmm? You need something? If you so, you better ask out for stable worker for help. I'm just a visitor. My older brothers have been arguing incessantly about where to go next. It's exhausting. That's so tired of listening to them that I had to seek refuge out here. I don't put much faith in either legends or rumors, but more than that, I find the caves and fallen ruins caused by the upheaval to be a much, much more interesting area of study. Okay, hey, Garchon. Garchon! Thanks, Sora. Hi. Uh, this weather's just the worst, but welcome to Rito Stable anyway. Now, uh, that's not right. I meant to say New Serene Stable. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I just moved over here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. By the way, please take this. It's Spicy Elixir. I don't need it anymore, so if you'd like to use a stable, talk to the shopkeeper, okay. That didn't help me either. What the hell? It's a dog! I don't know if a creature has brutal tusks. I'm seeing rainy days, careful not to drop anything. Ugh. Alrighty. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna stand up, walk around, hopefully that'll... ...clear my head a little bit, because I'm starting to fog out here. We will be back in like, five minutes.
I'm back. Just got back, just as the screen darkened. All right, I feel a bit better now. I got a snack, got a little bit of water, got another drink. Let's see what's up. The dog, my God, it's adorable. Also very wet, soggy dog. Do I need to talk to you guys again? Nope, I guess we have to just go from stable to stable. All right. Heading up here first. Maybe someone has seen it up here. Bro. Did they put elephants in Legend of Zelda? Oh my god, dude! The poor great fairy! Yeah. Hope the horse is okay. Moncton. What is this? Oh, it looks like there's pictures caught your eye. Yeah, I'm looking for people that are talking about a monster, but... Oh, between you and me, those ske sketches are the footprints of that rumored beast. Or so they say, at least. The beast is all that anyone at the Stable Association can talk about lately. I have my doubts about any of this, but... There's rumors that Princess Zelda was seen with this creature. It's a strange beast, too. One that devours solid rock. Uh. When these sorts of stories spread, they do tend to get embellished, I suppose. It's already such a dubious tale, I'm trying not to spread it too much more myself, with this particular exception. Curiously, the farther to the south you go, the more rumors about the beast you'll hear. Who knows, maybe if you ask around at the stables down south, you might get closer to the truth. Alright, so it wants me to go south. Well, Highland Stable is about as close as you can get to the jungle part of Farron. Ugh. <sighs> So maybe it's there. Ah! Oh god! I have a drinking problem. I just spilled soda all over myself. Uh. Don't look at me. I'm gross. All right, I gotta know what is that camp. It ain't just people camping out. There's like actually got to be a thing there. Shame, shame. I'm no, I'm sorry. Oh wait, it started raining. What are you doing? Oh, Captain Flaxel and the squad are all right. Oh hey, things are pretty dicey ahead. My Captain Flaxel's monster control crew squad is against freaking operation there. There's a pirate ship moored on the shore of Minoa River to the west. But never fear, the monster control crew is on their way to take them out. <laughs> Why am I not out there with them? Because I'm here to keep them fed. I'm a cook. In fact, I just threw together a new recipe while I was holding down the fort. Here, give it a try. Aw, oh, sick. <laughs> You're confident in your ability to swing a sword? You can go help Captain Flax on the others. Maybe later. I'm hunting elephants. See, my weather thing says that it's sunny, but it's currently raining. Have you ever seen the rain? Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, slippery. What are you doing? Go, kid! Mm -hmm. Hiya! I bet you climbed up here with me for some good reason. Need something? Or hey, did you come to listen to my performance? Are you a stable trotter? Uh -huh. Huh? You met the stable trotters! Yeah, hey, they're looking for a flautist. Wow, the troop is touring again? And they want all of us musicians back? That's great. But uh, first I have something to do here. 
Can't go back to the stable trotters until I take care of it. New voice. Come on. Let's move this down there where it's safer. I need to tell you what happened here. Your new voice, Piper. Ooh. You might hear about this from someone at the stable. What happened is that there was a fire in the field. Yeah, right on this spot. This burned a patch around us. There were some flowers here before. It was all my fault. An accident, but still my fault. You see, I have a friend who lives at the stable. Her name's Haiti. Maybe you've heard her. Met her. She's been going around asking people if she, if she could see a glowing tree. Just something from a picture book. You know, it's not real, but she really, really wishes it was. I promised her that I'd show her one. Not my brightest idea, but given they don't exist. And then I was stuck. So then I thought I'd just use a little tree and a little fire and make a glowing tree real quick. Aww. That's how things got burned here. But I was only thinking my per of my promise to Haiti. Besides, it didn't even work. Aww. I would still like to surprise her with a glowing tree somehow, but safely. So now I'm collecting fireflies. Need only ten more sunset fireflies and then I'll have enough to make a whole tree glow. I'll make Haiti smile. I believe I have ten of those. I'm gonna use the sunset fireflies to make that tr glowing tree. That'll definitely make Heidi happy. Do I not have them? I thought I had ten. I have five! No! I had ten, but I upgraded my armor. <laughs> it wasn't a cow. Oh my. Awkward conversation. Oh, hello. Mind if I ask you about something that's troubled my thoughts? Have you perchance seen a rather strange animal around here? Strange animal? That's right, it was a stocky animal that was wider than a horse's and had strange horns. But not like a cow's or goat's. And though it had tusks that made the beast look like a little brute. I saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. I rushed closer to get a good look, but it ran off by the time I got there. Never seen anything like it. I must say, the whole experience was shocking. Some travelers passed through here from Lakeside Stable and said they'd seen a similar animal. Maybe I'll find it again somewhere. To the east, you say? That goat has hella horns. Alright, we're going to become a wildlife photographer. That's a horse. We're hunting elephants! Like any decent Hylian. Something just moved over there. What was that? Something slammed. Hans. Hans! Yeah, Hans! Good hounds. Welcome to Highly and Geogla Geographic. That's not an elephant. That's a wizard. I don't have a picture of a blue bacoblin. Anything else I'm missing a picture of? The blue boss coblin? I do not- I will not call them my boss bacoblin. They are boss coblins. You cannot tell me otherwise. Come on, I need that picture of the silver. Fine, whatever. Oh, I thought this was a thing. Oh boy. Thunder Gleok. Let's take a picture of his ass. Can I take a picture of this guy? Little electric. Nope. Hold. Ah! Oh, God damn it. There. Got it. 
Electric Darner. Hey, you. Nice ass. That's not what they mean when they say dragon ass. Elephant? What is going on? Oh. Grudo lady's kicking the shit out of a bokoblin. A blue coblin. Good luck. Butterfly? Need a picture of the butterfly. Did I get it? Yes! Should take a picture of this as well. Welcome to High Hylian Ge Geographic. Alright, back to hunting the elephant. Time to address the elephant in the room. What was his name? Percy? Zootopia. That was a funny joke. He did get a promotion, though, so that was pretty cool. Hey, right, keep an eye out. Can I get much higher? Oh my god, it's a monkey. I hear no monkey. I, I hear monkey, I no see monkey. Where's the monkey? See you, Lakeside Stable. Here's Riverside. There's stable here. Somewhere along this bridge. The name like Lakeside, you'd figure it'd be, you know, beside the lake. But what do I know? Actual lake. There, there's another stable up here. I didn't know there was. I didn't know that there was a stable in the jungle. Interesting. You need to think outside the box. Ah, I see. What is a river, if not a skinny lake? Electrical lizard. How shocking. I'm just flew off, flew above us. I have a picture of the tomato. I don't have a picture of tomato. Now I do. Welcome to the family, tomato. I heard something stomping. Never mind, it's just thunder. Being of which. There we go. <laughs> ah, sick. Spicy peppers. God, look at this place. Don Don?
Wait, is that it? Did I find it? Well, before we go check that out. A Don Don. Interesting. Before we do that, let's go get the stable here. Where's the shrine? Oh my god. Oh boy. Where's my frog? To climb all the way up there in the rain oh lordy well it's a good thing we have the the frog outfit nearby up above i know sensor two three four five one two three four Five. One, two, three. All right, we need to try again. Ooh, banana. Ooh, banana. Also require frog. Thanks, frog. Oh my God. They gave Link side boob. One. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I made it even, even less distant that time. Climb the tree. Two, three, four, five. Wait, this isn't slippery. Oh, no, it is. Two, three. Get up there. All right. Now, from here, we should have plenty of distance. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, jump, and we didn't make it. Ow! How? How the heck, dude? This is crazy. Oh. When in doubt, take the elevator. <laughs> Pay attention to your surroundings, young Link. Oh, it's done raining. Sick. Just jump right up. Let's go, Froggy Link. Joju ooh ooh. Now that's a name. Joju ooh ooh. Building bridges. I'm good at that. Boy, am I. Ta da! Screw your ladder. Diddle, 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 diddle. Yeah. Yeah. I did it.
I don't think this helped. What, Link? Use your hands! But I don't want to use my hands! Fine, you know what I'll do? You don't want to let me up! God damn it. Hold up. Hold up. Let him cook. You know what, let's just... All right, one more. Grab you. There you go. Ah All right. But why? Stick. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Let me play Zelda. Amen. This bridge is already made. I feel cheated. <laughs> Alright, so this bridge needs to string up on here. And I think I have the... the solution. First off. There. Then attach you to the top. Then string you up and over. Ta da! I knew all that poor college kid innovation ability would come in handy someday. Look at me now! <sighs> Some delicious Dr. Pepper. Hashtag not spawn. Hashtag could be spawn. Hashtag I'll definitely, I'll definitely pra praise Dr. Pepper if they give me money. I'll do it. They're not going to give me any money. Well, here's my teleprotter. All right, Lake Sad. I can't catch a break. Hmm. If you're crying out loud. Where the places the monsters could go, they decide to settle down in our caves. Our caves. Wonder if there's someone to chase them out for the stable's sake. Mm. Huh? Oh, hello, hello. I was so deep in thought, I didn't notice you there. Didn't happen to uh, hear what I was saying, did you? Monsters? Mm. I guess you did. There's three caves that appeared around here appear after the upheaval. Oh Jesus! They're all up there. One is near Quarter Lake. Another near to Rodai Lake. And last over by Calorie Lake. Oh. Huge deposits of luminous stone can also be mined in those caves, so they're popular spots for travelers, or they were. Three giant monster brothers showed up. Three used to be over in Terra Pass to the northeast, but now they're in our region, hogging the caves for themselves. Uh. If we don't do something, travelers stop coming here. Business at the stable will dry up. Uh. Uh, I can't win. It's not as though they're up and leave. What if I murder them? Praise the Dr. Pepper gods. Praise them! Anyway, I'm looking for rumors. Is this your first time in the area, sir? It's a little known fact that our stable receives orders from Princess Zelda herself. At her direction, we opened a new sanctuary for, uh, a sanctuary for a new animal species. It's right across the ravine from here. Oh. 
Ordinary villagers can't visit it, easily reach it, but with a telescope or the like, you might be able to snatch a glimpse. Anyway, once again, welcome to Lakeside Stable. Thanks for supporting the association. Add a point to your pony points. Look at this smile. What a winning smile. Looks like you got some points saved up, Link. Want to get your rewards? Step up to the counter. Once again, oh. welcome to the stable. You want a lodge? Nope. Guns do is raining. We're behind the stable. It's too full for me to go inside. But when the skies are calm like this, the water and the water disappears and I can give it a good scrub. I don't think of it. I should probably go do that now. Thank you not to slip. Give me my reward. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You're not going to get pony points reward, right? Oh. For 13 points, you get a traveler's saddle. Thermal weather holds strong in all sorts of weather and has made it a... F okay, what does that do? Oh. Comes with the traveler's bridle, so here's that too. It looks cool. You save a few more points. Oh. You'll be able to use our main restyling service. We appreciate your patronage. Oh my god, I can give my horse a haircut? Beetle believes in you! I love you, buddy. Alright, so is... Is Pin here, or is this the... Conclusion to, like... Is this like related? Nah, yeah, whatever. Come here, fish. There's an apple. Who threw an apple in the well? I want this. Bonk. <gasps> oh my god, it's a diamond. That poor fish drowned itself. Dummy. Alright, there's okay, so like there's still something in here. Well, this wasn't what I thought it would be. There's still something in this cave. Well. Because it's still marked on my map. What am I missing? Well, this lizard, of course. No, I don't see anything. Anyway. Let me out of here. Wow, these pin quests, uh, far more involved than I expected. Oh my god. They glow. I want to go say hi. I want to say hi to the Don Don. Hey, I've truly doted on them. Oh my, you must have come from quite a long way away. This is sanctuary for Don Dons. The new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Dondons are quite precious, because we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good-natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to go tromping around wherever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm. That reminds me. Did you hear the rumor about Princess Zelda being seen riding a beast? Well, I bet what people actually saw was her with a Don Don back when she established a sanctuary. Just goes to show how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Don Dons aren't beastly, they're adorable. I love them. Hey, partner! Mm -hmm. Huh? It's all fun and games till they one-shot you. Those horns are huge, dude. What if I, I one-shot the Don Don? What if I kill them all, take their hides? And I got sight of you while I was looking into things at the sta- into things at the stable here. Heard that there are rare animals around here somewhere. How about you help me dig into the story here, partner? I already did it. <laughs> what? Hold on, you're saying this all relates to the beast people have been seeing Princess Zelda riding around on? Hmm. So it wasn't a beast after all, just a newly discovered animal called a Don Don. And it was Princess Zelda herself conducting research on them. 
Wow, rumors can really get out of hand, can't they? I mean, it's hardly a mountain of a beast. Not even a small hill. All that talk of brutal tusks was overblown, too. That's why a good reporter must confirm the details before they go to print. You did a good job, partner. We've worked together eight stories. You've really gotten the hang of things. You could probably get a full job at the senior nest egg. Oh, oops, I almost forgot, partner. Drazy's really been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Hey, a rupee. Gotta hurry back and get the real story published. Take care. So long. Get out of here, pin. And I have the opal. Excuse me, but you can't take that gem. The gem is a precious clue to understanding Don Don's lives and habits. What do you mean? You'll have to bear with me. It's a bit of a long story. One day, some luminous stones I picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a, knew it, a Don Don charged over and then... Chomp, chomp! He gobbled the luminous stones right up! These animals show an interest in food, and then luminous stones, of all things, spark their hunger. I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground where the Don Don grazed. Those are the gems. Where they came from remains a little uncertain, but I think the Don Don created them after eating the luminous stones. If that's the case, I might learn more about the nature of the Don Dons by studying those, so please don't take them. They... Poop Diamond. Hello, big guy. Oh my god. Look at him. Look at him. That explains why they're growing, why they're glowing. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, Coconut. How are you? Welcome to the Don Don Sanctuary, where we have discovered these glowing, rock-eating ox things that are so adorable. I love them. I want one. I am going to feed it now. Luminous stone, right? Is it boy or girl? You want it? Consume? What if I just drop it? Nature is truly beautiful. I love these guys. <laughs> I love these guys. Also, I noticed something there for a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, you've already had one. Your turn. Take one. Hello. I bring gifts. I bring gifts. This is for you. You want one? You'll follow me. You want one? I guess he wants me to put him down. All right, you know what? I'll help you out. <laughs> he seems to not be able to turn around. But I'm glad you're doing well, Coconut. Here, let's put it in front of him. Consume stone. See, this is cute and all. But we have to context contextualize that luminous stone is a uh, rock filled with dead souls. <laughs> so while they're cute and adorable and I love feeding them these are um they're eating they're eating souls so cute though that, that's true oh my god the noise Nyom.
Can I ride it? I want to. I want to ride it. I want to ride the Don Don. Fine, whatever. Enjoy your rocks, nerds. I love you. Well, that was cute. You know what? I'm going to go talk with my boss. I need to know how many of these how many of these stories I actually need to do? Uh. Uh, stretch. Uh, good stretch. I went to the wrong shrine. Uh oh. There we go. I'm freezing. All righty, boss. Please tell me where I need to go. I like how Rito Village itself is thawed, but the area around it is still all cold. <laughs> That's very funny. Maybe the grass is just all dead and hasn't grown back yet. Fire. Whirlwind. Wake the fuck up, galley. Stop sleeping on the job! Hey, boss. Oh. Oh, hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour. Good, good. Yeah. Now that the blizzard has finally stopped, my sisters and I can get back to work. Doma headed off northeast towards Goron City, I think. She's looking into a rumor about some kind of underground city there. She's a little too quick to trust people, in my opinion. I hope she's not chasing a lead that goes nowhere. I've been there. It's Lost Garandia. It was the most, it was the, the currently the lowest rated shrine that I've experienced, but that's mostly my fault. Oh. By the way, how are you and Pin doing? Everything going okay? Did you lose track of your partner? See, right now we should be canvassing at Dueling Peak Stable over in West Nakluda. Oh. The Iga plan recently, clan recently sent the papers a statement concerning Princess Zelda, you see. Oh. It definitely shook me at first, but then I reminded myself it could be just a bunch of hot air. Regardless, I asked Pin to figure out if it was true or not. Oh. We just all over Hyrule as the princess' whereabouts. The lucky lover is that is equally however to have over the can. All right, so he is finally over here in Nakluda. Okay. I guess I just had to do a certain number of um, other shrine or other stables in order to get him to go there. God, the side quests in this game have expanded incredibly. Like in Breath of the Wild, the side quests that I did, they were all like, like, bring me like... Like a, like a gem, or uh, bring me like our rupee, or uh, or like kill those two monsters. It wasn't investigate <laughs> twelve shri like twelve stables. Like this is sick. I love it. I need to go down here at some point and go get the tower, but I don't know where it is. Oh, pin!
Where is he? Where is he? There he is. You goober. Have you been there this whole time and I've just missed you? Right up in the chin. Yeah! Howdy. How dare those you go? Oh, oh whew, it's just you, partner. I could have known you'd use my morning grogginess to sneak up on me. My feathers really are ruffled, aren't they? Oh, no, you spooking me isn't what God I'm talking about. Although that did a number on me, too. I mean, Princess Zelda was... Princess Zelda... She was kidnapped! Have you heard of the Yiga, partner? They're a gang of lowlives who worship an evil entity and plot against Princess Zelda. And now they claim that they've kidnapped her. What's more, they're not even worried about being found. In fact, they send a message to the newspaper. We've taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the Towering Twins. Understandably, Miss Tracy's all worked up over this news. I came here because the word Twins made me think of Dueling Peak Stable. But I haven't found any other clues so far. There must be something. Partner, we cannot allow the chirps and warbles of evil to go unanswered. The empty heart. So I'm guessing that there is a cave, maybe behind this waterfall. Minorly disappointed. I'm going up. Well, that was cool. Anyway, we actually need to. Where's my froggy suit? There's my froggy suit. We need to actually find where the cave is. Yarahar, look for the cave. The empty heart. Yeah, the empty heart of the peaks makes me think that there's a cave around here. So it's gotta be. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Sorry for bumping my headphones. Hmm. What's that? Oh, big rocks. Hmm. Man, ascend really makes climbing easy. Bet they're all the way up there. I bet they are. Can I ascend anywhere here? That'd be hilarious. Maybe over here. No. Ah, come on. Come on, dude. Let me go. Let me go. Let me, let me ascend, bro. Fine, I'll just start from the shrine again. We'll just climb up the side of the mountain. No, I didn't sign up for mountain climbing. Not that I won't. I totally will.
At least for the next 25 minutes, because it's about to start raining again. Awesome. Have I been there? I don't know. Grab some stamina. Do some more jumping. Five minutes until the rain begins. Here it comes. Do have any stamina recovery? Nope. Hold. God damn it. Yeah, give me. No! My life is suffering. My life is endless agony and rainstorms. This is why we need the froggy suit. This is why we're doing this. So Link can become a frog! Ribbit ribbit and all that good stuff. You know it'd be an easier way to do this. Say screw that. And learn to fly. Bye bye. Oh, you can hear the rain hitting the top of the paraglider. I didn't know that. That's a sick detail. I love that. That's that's so cool. This game is so cool, man. Put that down. Oh boy. My main goal is to blow up. Oh my god, they're still alive. Hit him! Link! Ha! Get the F out of here! Hit the head! <laughs> ha! I should have a stronger bow. Strengthen Lizzle Bow. Get out of here. Bye bye, you Novo. Oh, hey, welcome back. Yeet! There you go. Huh. Yeesh. Give me all these arrows. I need so many arrows. I used all of them. Four, five. Hmm. Push the rocks. Ah, this is push it. It's like something got cleaved right down the middle here. Whoa, whoa! That's not Zelda. That ain't Zelda. The 
is a Zold? Oh, hey, an arrow. I don't believe you. Oh, Link, you thought you came to save me. You recognize who I am, right? Zelda? No, you come and save me quickly. Do something to open this cage. Oh, and the cage is gone. Literally gone. Only the valiant golden-haired knight knows Link can move such a sturdy cage like that. <laughs> I knew we'd lure in some heroic wannabes if we use Zelda as bait, but we've even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry. Once we find the real Zelda, we'll send her to join you. Promise. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is definitely the golden-haired golden boy. Get him! I do not appreciate this. Ow! Slap my ass! Where do you think you're going? Trying to teleport from me? We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Hi. Hey, partner. What are you up to down there? Oh, you know, just just war. Oh. I've been circling the area for leads. I'm certain that the word twins in the fish's letter was referring to dueling pigs. Huh. Now, I'm not so sure. I found nothing at all anywhere around here. What about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? Is the Yiga... What? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter to all to lure you into a trap? Uh, why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Gotta do it in your own horn there a little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track here. It's a huge relief knowing the Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Hmm. We've worked together to chase nine stories. Yeah. It's never time for a break, you know. Better make sure Tracy hears details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg. One other thing, we got our bonus from Tracy. Hey, I got froggy legs. Ah. Any good reporter dresses for the story they're reporting on, you know? This gear lets you cling to walls without slipping, even on rainy days. It'd be pretty cool to wear while conducting an interview in the rain, don't you think? I'll head off and start pecking away at an article about the Yiga Clan scheme. People need to know the truth. Sapa. So long! Become frog. Oh my god, I got little froggy feet. They make slappy noises. See, sounds like boots. Slappy feet. Slappy feet. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go ask Tracy where he went. What stables have I not been to? Like, there was nothing in Northeast Akala. I guess technically I didn't do anything for Lakeside because I was part of the Serene. Well, she'll tell us. It was a real whirlwind. Yeah, you're welcome. That armor been handy? Very. Ah, get out of my face. Ah, Link, nice to see you hard at work. How's it going? You pending and wrong? Didn't lose track? You should be canvassing outskirts stable. 
far, far, far to the south of here, right on the border between Hyrule Field and Gerudo. Huge Zonai ruin fell near there, so there's been a lot of researchers on top of the usual travelers visiting. Where there are people, there's info. That's what Pin said anyway. Not quite how I'd put it, but true all the same. I'm guessing it's this one. I'm guessing that's outskirts. So let's go see. Let's go see. We've got a story to catch, partner! It's raining! It always is! Trying to have light nearby. Look at me now! I can just go... Happity ha- Eh! Happity happity- Oh boy! Please no. Please no setting on fire. Thank you. By setting on fire, you mean hit, hitting with the head with lightning? It would not be appreciated. If I am being quite honest. Oh, hey, a shrine. Oh, jeez. A lot of friends there, it seems. Oh, fairy. That's the one that needs the flute. But he's all the way down south, and we need a lot of little fireflies to get that guy. Tutsu um. Oh. Sick. Oh, I didn't mark Joju oo oo. There we go. What trials do you have for me? Tsutsu um. The stakes guide you. I see. Alright, so I need to get the big ball over here. I'm ascending you. I'm ascending. I'm ascending! Ah! Huh. I don't think I can ascend that. All right. Come here. Get up here. Thank you. Take it up right there. Get on it. There you go. No! I'm dumb. God damn it, Link! Why didn't you jump? Why'd you run off the edge? Don't you turn to me. Like that. Hmm. Hmm. I see. So oh, that's how it's gonna be, huh? So that's like how it is, eh? It be like that, does it? 
That is the way it is, aren't they? I'm flying! Stop! I said stop, but it didn't stop. Cease! All right. Now. I need to get over there and grab the ball. All right, aim this way. A little closer. All right, better reflexes. Okay, better reflexes. Reflex is too good. Reflex is still too good. Why can't I grab it anymore? Stay right there. Hey. Over here with you. I need you. And then I put this. Right there. Push it up. It's too far in. Go. Scoot it on up. Like that. There you go. Now that's not fair at all. Let's go, Froggy Boy. Frog Five. Mm -ba 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 -da. Awesome. All right, where's my boy? Pian. There he is. Hello. That is strange. Yo. Hello, partner. You're here to investigate the rumors, too. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Oh. Oh, you're also a reporter. I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. Hmm. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead, when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? Hmm. And if something who she is to strangers is dangerous, if revealing does... It be, and if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous, could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger, well, combining these facts make me wonder if this isn't actually a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but if there is a slight chance... 
There's only one way for us to know sure, though. We'll have to pack away this news and see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was that woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. It's the Yiga again. Yiga doing Yiga things. Yeah. I don't have this unlocked, I don't think. Nope. And there we go. Pick up rock. Put rock down. Someone. Oh no, my poor friend. Please, you must save her. Rilera. You okay? B -b -b Blonde hair. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's in hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Nah, maybe later. She told me that so long as the one who came to raid was a man with blonde hair, she was sure to be okay. Oh no, I would worry that the time is short for my friend. Hey. You want these? No. It's blonde haired man. Yeah, let's go. Oh, thank you so much. My friend is hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Like that. We should go where my friend is, but be careful to not be seen. We do not want to draw evil to her. I shall wait for you down this road. Maybe as soon as you can. This is a stealth mission. So I guess she isn't Yiga. I need to get rid of this guy. This fly boy is going to be a problem. Get him! Jesus, more of them. Yeah! Try again! What is the point of the homing eyeballs? There you go. Oh my god. Back off! Yeah. What? What just hit me? Was it Yanobo? Yanobo, you traitor! Oh, hello. Ow! Get him! It hurt. Consume baked foods. I need a nut. Where are they? There they are. Cave at the end of this road. Well, hello. I was spotted, but I murdered everyone. Over here. Uh, I apologize. Apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by concern for my friend. She's resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. Sorry that the path is so poor. Uh, All the way up there. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? We can meet where you can see... We'll meet right where you can see the fallen debris. 
Oh, I guess she's just going to get up there. Okay. What a speedy climber. But I'm nothing if not froggy. I will also be right after. Hold, recover stamina. Continue. I can recover here. I couldn't recover there. I can recover here. Hold. All right. So that was a bad idea. Head this way. Why is she leading me all the way out here? Uh-oh. Why do I have these terrible ideas? Where's my ability to ascend? I was told as long as there's something over your head, you can ascend! What is all this? Colosseum ruins. What is this type of rock? Looks cool, whatever it is. It's got like spots. And spots are cool. How did you get up here so quickly, lady? Was it here? It must be him then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Uh, She's waiting nearby, around the debris on the opposite cliff. I will go on ahead and let her know you are coming. <laughs> it's a bit far off, but I'll know you'll be able to make it. How are you going to get there? Also, why do you keep taking me from place to place? This is not sus at all. <laughs> All aboard the battle sus. What's that? It's a Korok on top of that leaning tower. Hold up, I want these. This way! I'm sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another? Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You're Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop on our little journey. <laughs> your grave! There's the Yiga. Figure something was up with the bananas. You can't just instantly reset, that's cheating! Good on the Iga for being immune to bananas, though. Normally, they love bananas. Oh, I'll let you off this time. Don't expect such a mercy next time. Prepare yourself! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey! Hey, partner! Well. So this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you've really got yourself out on a limb here. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of the story. I heard that a woman was luring people away. Thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down. And hey, here you are! So tell me, what have you unearthed? Is the Yiga. What's that? 
The woman who was asking for help was actually a member of the Yiga clan. Though she disguised herself as a villager and was trying to lure the princess's appointed knight to a trap. Oh. It is really some impressively bad luck that they keep coming after you instead, isn't it? I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like, Junior reporter falls to the cruel blade of the Yiga in pursuit of truth. Hmm. We worked together to chase ten stories. <laughs> Just as expected, partner. Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh. Yep. Ah. Newspaper has been doing lit really well lately. And Trace has sent us a little bonus as a result. Nice to see she values our hard work so much. Go on, take it. 50 rupees. Anyway, it's time I took off and turned these unusual details into a pa into an article. Take care, partner. So long. I don't know where any other stables are. Well, I guess we haven't been here. No, wait, we have been. We just did that one. <laughs> Alrighty. Back to the Gazette. See what's up. I wonder if he went back to Akala. Or if, like, maybe that was it. Crazy. Crazy. Hey, Crazy. I need to know where he is. Finn just keeps taking off without telling me where he's going. It's getting a little annoying. Tracy. Tracy, Tracy. Ah, hello, Link. Looking for a great hour. You and Pin getting along okay? Did you lose track? Right, he should be canvassing nor near South Akala. Right between Elden and Akala. Saying his little birds got him a hot scoop on something. Apparently, there's a talking cuckoo. I told him obviously no way that was possible. He told me that there was absolutely no way his little birds would lie, and then he flew off. All right, South Akala Stable. Not Foothill. Not East Akala. South Akala. South Akala Stable. Ah, right there. Alrighty. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last one. Not that I'm in not enjoying hanging out with Finn. But like... I'd like to finish it. <laughs> you know? All right, Pin, I hear you're looking for a talking cuckoo. A prophecy. Yo. Hey, look at you, partner. Digging around in the rain, hoping to turn up a lead. You remind me of me. Ah. So how about it? Tell me you've got something, something we can work with. No, we got nothing either. I'm not a chirp, nor a warble. You know, if I strain the old ear holes, no, sir, not even the slightest peep. Hmm. So what to do when our leads go quiet and luck runs out? I suppose we've got one last resort. A prophecy! A prophecy? Oh. Oh, yes, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cuckoo around here. That, uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, it's no... We know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. Ah. Look at that tree there. The one way up on that hill. They say folks are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have their fortunes told. Mm. I know what you're thinking. Seasoned reporter like me hoping to get a lead from actual poultry. Well, hear me out. Those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. A clairvoyant cuckoo. The all-clucking cuckoo. Let's go do some... Interviews. 
Who's talking to the chicken? The all clucking cuckoo. Ah, hello there, fella. So checking out my fancy tents, I bet. Stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. Oh. I was heading east for Terrytown since I heard Deliverty designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it was a real deal. Oh. And buddy, as real as can be. Here's the prophecy I got on a remote island to the northeast. Thou will fight great thou wilt find great fortune. Terrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope great fortune means a treasure trove of clothes. Rain or shine, my lover fashion will carry me through. Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again, hmm? Are you, are, are you here for a prophecy from the all-clucking cuckoo? You're ready for your life to change? They say the cuckoo's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need some time to sort out which to ask. Really, you'd be doing me a favor. Go ahead. Oh. I travel a lot, so I'm used to getting rained on. Just not this much. But don't catch pneumonia out here. You're gonna die. Remote island to the northeast. Does you mean this? Maybe. Hello, cuckoo. Thy name. What is thy name? Ah, I sense it. You are a link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, uh, yes. Princess Zelda. <laughs> I know all. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials that will reveal much to you. So, will you, will thou take these trials? I'll do it. Very well. The first trial is... Get to the top of that stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Okay. In the rain? This is bad. This is bad. Also, because we're in town, I can't... Tulin. <laughs> I think I got a froggy suit! Get under the chip! Yeah, right there! You finished. Damn right I did. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed. But I already knew that was going to happen. So... Thou, yes thou! Ready to face the next trial? Only if thou overcome it, will thou find what thou seeketh. So, you wanna try it or what? I'll try it. Very well. The second trial is... Bring three logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here. Any of them will do the job. Just do whatever it takes to get them here. Ready yourself. I need an X. Got an X. Can't cut this one. All right. Looks like it's you three. Uno. Dos. Hi. That was easy. Thought this trial was supposed to be difficult. Give me a more difficult trial. You finished.
having me chop wood. Ah! So, you tired yet or what? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive. So trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking cuckoo. Ridiculous. Now that you're all worn out, we've got you right where we want you. Everyone, get him and finish the job. Oh my god! The chicken was a ninja! A nin chicken! My friends cannot help me here! But I don't need them. <laughs> Man, the ego will just become anything. We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Get out of here. Hey, there's my partner. Is the Yiga again. Oh. I was just giving a good long think to the all clucking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Ninjas. Aha, hmm. uh -huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo couldn't yap to save its life, but I didn't suggest suspect that this was a Yiga clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. Ah. But at least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that cuckoo's prophecies. People need to know the truth, or else they'll fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracles, my tail feathers. Hmm. Eleven stories. They've gotten hang of things, get a full job, add this to my nest egg, give me my rupees. Ah. Tracy gave us another bonus. Sounds like that article on Princess Zelda was a hit. Tracy was really excited about it. Anyway, here's the bonus. Job itself is rewarding, of course, but these are nice too. Don't you agree, partner? Hey, another hun a hundred rupees. Anyway, give it a lot of you. Giving us a big scoop and those geek adults a healthy clobbering all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. So long. Where else could he possibly be? <laughs> How many more Yiga do I have to kick the shit out of? Also, there's a... There's a, there's a Korok up here. Hello, Korok. Hello. Hello, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> 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 Alrighty. Back... to Tracy. Once more. Really wish he'd tell you where he was going. But I guess it's just go to any stable, really. Uromuak. Yeah, walk has to mean something. Maybe it means like hill. I will be very amused if there's a Marowak shrine somewhere. Hey, Tracy, where is he at? Oh, oh hello, Lynx. Good hard work so many in the morning. You've been getting along. Do you lose track of your partner? Right around now, he should be at canvassing Gerudo Canyon Stable. It's the last stable you'll find on the road before heading into the Gerudo Desert in the southwest part of Hyrule. Whether down there swings pretty hot and cold and horses can't go into the desert. There have been rumors that the stable is going to be shut down. Alright. So it's like somewhere in here. Let's jump in there from Jinna Duck. Ah. More of these than I thought. Sheesh. Sheesh.
Give me these. Give me that. All right. What the hell? What was that? Cloud got in the way. Oh, it's uh. It's water. Like, oh my god! It's just water. I didn't know that there was a stable in Gerudo Canyon. There's the tower. Scanning. How far am I from? That's good. So not very far. So it can't be like right here. Got to be further in. Somewhere. What the? Oh, I thought that was a giant monster standing on top of the mountain. Turns out it's just a rock. Look at that little savanna. Never been there. Is that a that's not a stable. Come on, Doolin, please recharge. Whoa. What the Is that the eye of Sauron? I need my I need my diving suit diving suit Is that a stable nope I want to get to the tower if I get to the tower I can find the stable much easier boy a Satori all right a little warm out here, isn't it? <clears throat> it's a good thing you're not real fish people, otherwise you'd dry out. Poor Sidon. Gorons are fine. Gorons can live everywhere. The Goron is eternal. Yeah, I don't really want to put a thing on. What's that? <clears throat> Nothing. All the way up here. What? What? Sheesh. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, Sakon. We meet again. Good morning. Hate to break it to you, but this Skyview Tower is out of order. Ah. Here to fix it, but unfortunately, the elevator is broken too. Can't get up to the tower to make the repairs. Oh. See that metal bit up there? Used to be a platform attached to that. You had enough weight to go down and I'd go up. The platform is gone. There's nothing attached to that metal bit, so I'm stuck down here. Uh... I obviously can't fix the Skyview Tower. Wish I knew some way to get to the top. Oh, I know it's not the right time tonight. All right, I need to... Obviously get up there and... <clears throat> Never mind, it seems my weight has just arrived. Come on. Come in. Come in. Stand up here. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat is suddenly all clogged. All right. I'm going to build a makeshift bridge to put all this weight on. What are those? Oh my god, tumbleweed? Tumbleweeds? I didn't know this game had tumbleweeds. Oh, you are incredibly lucky. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'd say. Whew. Half an inch from your head. Also, it's hot as hell. 
I'm actually taking heat damage. Alright, leave that there for the time being. Let's get up to the top. Alrighty. I can't grab this. Why not? Ah, dangerous! Okay. Put you back down. Do it again. Now I guess I need to <laughs> get this one off. Eventually. Oh, uh... Ah, dangerous! No, it's not. Calm down. All right. God damn it. Why is it like this? Why are you like this? All right, can I grab that? Nope. Come here, tumbleweed. I need your help. Help me. Right. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. There. God. That was annoying. I did it. Go fix the thing, Zarkon. Are you the one who got the elevator working? You're amazing. Got way to fix it in this cafe town right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh oh. The drive assembly mechanism is stuck, probably from all the hot, hot hours of the day here. But if I swap out these parts for these heat resistance ones, yes, it worked. Thanks to you, I can fix the Skyview Tower. Take this for your troubles. If you're headed out to the desert, make sure to protect yourself from the heat. It can get dangerous out there. Sometimes there's just no avoiding the heat. When that happens, a meal that'll cool you down should come in handy. I want to fly. I must ascend. My people need me. Bye-bye! Fire!
I am a frog owl, I've noticed. Da 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 Alrighty. Stretch. There we go, we got the rest of the map. And the air view. All right. Where is the stable? There it is. Yeah! God, one hell of a sandstorm going on out there. Can't even see Gerudo City. Or Gerudo Town or whatever. Alright. Turakamik! Turak. Let's get that shrine, gamers! Are you ready? It didn't meddle. Well, I mean, first things first, obviously. Boop. Power has been restored. Ah, I punched my microphone. I am so sorry. I was scratching my head. Because my... My head is G. The keys. And I you. Now you're thinking with electricity. I need to do another one. I see. We just go. Not quite. There must be something we can do. Conduct electricity. Yeah, you do. I was worried that taking the wheel apart would, you know, break. Would break the electric current, but apparently it didn't. Hello. Give me the shrine. That was an easy shrine. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Akatosh upon ye. Alrighty. What's going on at this table? Howdy. In? Why would she do this? Whoa! -ho -ho! Hello there, partner. What's brought you all the way out here? I heard the visitors stopped coming to this stable, so this place had to shut down. But here you are. The temperature is really scorching my feathers. But look at you, kid. Cool, calm, and collected. I've come to this stable because my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off limits. Hmm. Without its water, this stable couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. 
but while also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks here. Oh. So why'd the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is answers. The owner, who's stuck here, is just as puzzled as everyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was so concerned about. My wings are too wide. Mm. Ah, I wish there was some way we could get more details, but it seems like the deadest of dead ends to me. Well, speaking of dead, I'm going to go down there and kill whatever is living in it. Lizard hat. Now I'm gonna wear this. Let's go! There's still water here. I mean, there could be more water. Oh, I don't want this. I want this. Oh, hello there! Let's go, boys! Yeah. Don't spit at me. There's Zora, get in the water and kick his ass. Get out of the water. Yeah. All right, one down. That guy's left. It seems the problem was that there's a bunch of monsters living in the well. Alrighty. Take your tongue out. Dolan! No! You okay? Yanobo! Oh my god! Stop eating my boys! I won't let you do it again! Freaky creature. Oh, hey. That's actually a really good shield. But I don't want it right now. For reasons. Hi. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh god, that guy hurts. I didn't want to eat that, but I did. Here we are. Stay back. Stay back, fiend. Yeah! <laughs> I hate electric enemies! Ugh. Yeah! Partner! I had monsters down there! Are you okay? I got it. Yeah. But I leave. So, what'd you find in the well? A bunch of lizards. So, there was a lot of monsters behind that pile of rocks. Ah. Can't help but thinking that the mon the princess knew about that monster den. She must have had a barricade put up to seal those creatures away and protect everyone here. Now, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery. But maybe she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, only a little speculation on my part, but that's gotta be the story here. Ah. What do you say? Holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. Mm. We've worked together to chase 12 stories. Can't hear the chirps and wobbles of my little birds anymore. Seems like this was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. I'm gonna report this to Tracy. That probably means that this is the last addition to your nest egg, partner. 300 rupees. Oh. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. It really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, the newspaper values you. Mm. I'm being honest, though, I have a feeling of our days. I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. <laughs> ah, someone must have gotten caught under my goggles. Oh. It really was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. 
We needed to make some educated guesses with our story more than we normally do, but... I'll stand by this piece! We know our princess after all. She had to have had everyone's safety in mind. Get to writing all this up for the newspaper. You take care of yourself. Ah. So long. Gonna miss you, Pin. A new friend added to the collection. You know, Bo, what are you doing down there? I wanna go loot. Me that 15 electric horn so it's an electric item sick all right what is this a hearty truffle nice let me steal all your mushrooms i know you need them for your you know your your stable and all that but <laughs> they're mine now all right off to the Gazette we go! That was a... Almost four... Probably if you include the times that I did it, that's like a four and a half hour... Quest chain. If you include the quests that I did... At other times. Jesus. This game is huge. Woo! All right. Time to go land. Hello again. Tracy, maybe we can relax a little. Aha! Our trusty reporter! So, Link, Penn's filled me in on all the latest. We're relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every one of those rumors about Zelda. And our paper circulation is stronger than ever! I'm almost speechless. Ah. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. Frog head. Good head for a rainy day. Wow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick to wet surfaces without slipping. Hmm. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. But I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you keep doing what you do. Your part in this will all be clear soon enough, I bet. Ah. As for Pin, well, I've given him some time off of the pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this. I think I put him on the spot, Link. He looked at me in an odd way and flew off with barely, barely a sore long. He was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. Can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up. Maybe. Ben? Buddy? You okay? Did he go to the village? We must rebuild the bridge. Mm. Now that the blizzard is passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so that our supplies can arrive in the village. Sadly, we're not equipped for a major rebuilding project. But I've heard there are Hylians who are skilled in construction. Say, you're a Hylian. Do you know anyone who could help? Mm. Mm. Joanel. That's a name. Sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know. What about that guy at Lookout Landing? If he could build an incredible structure like that, I bet he'd have no problem fixing up your bridge. His name was... Ah, shoot, I don't remember, but it ended in Sun. Carson. Ah. Fantastic. Yes, he sounds up to the task. However, I can't leave the village right now with my defense duties. We have to dispatch an emissary to look out landing in my place. Mm. But who to send? Everyone's so busy. Hello. I guess I can just go talk to Carson. Pin left. Mm. I'll miss him. But if he's got things to do, he's got things to do. I think he's shy.
I need to put my froggy hat on. What is going on over there? Froggy hat. I'm adorable. Before we go talk to Carson, what is this? Oh, it's Zora training up. For combat. Nice. Hey, Anson? You're not the Anson. You're not the guy I'm looking for. Big way. What's worth? We're gonna have the stone tablet in the base of this thing before taking off for Kakariko. Would have been nice if you were just taking this massive obstruction with him, though. The first down would be dangerous, but it's in the way, so I want to demo it. The lady from the Zonai survey team is standing and watch. If I mess with it, she'll probably send me soaring straight into this death mountain. You're not Carson. Where's Carson? Carson! I like how, as you, like, solve quests, Lookout Landing gets more and more people. I'm gonna take a little break. Hey, Carson. Ah. Hey, Link, good evening. Oh. Taking a rest right here. But I'll be up and at a moment something comes up. Should rest too, Link. Settle into a bed in the emergency shelter. All right, look at work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up. It also means I'm out of work. You will know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? Ritos. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. Heard it fell apart when that blizzard struck Rito Village. But if they're looking to have it fixed, strange weather must have died down, eh? Ah. Well, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. Son and done. Hell yeah, brother. Is that a Rito? Yeah. Look at that. Well, back up we go. Wonder where Pin went. He might be in Rito Village. We can go check. After we get this bridge fixed. Go check in Rito Village. If he's not there, then I guess we will end it for the day because we're coming up on four hours. Ugh. Got like a weird cramp in my arm. Got a sore muscle. Owie. I've got someone to fix your bridge, Mr. Gassane. Hey. Worse than I thought. Darn, sorry, Carson. I wish we had more building supplies for you to use. Now, nah, saying this is my fault, not yours. I was way too ro I was too rosy with my estimates. What happened? Ah. ah, Link, it's about the bridge job. Been a bit of a snag. See, the thing's in worse shape than I accounted for. Ah. Carson here estimates that we'll short 20 pieces of wood, is that right? Ah. Yep, we'll be able to get what we need by chopping down trees. That'll be a whole project in itself. How many do I have? Thirteen. I need more wood. We need more wood! Okie dokie. I'm to accelerate deforestation! Give me that frond. Tree this way. Nice. How many is that? Twenty two. All righty. Here you go. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. I had no idea this job would be so big that it needed 20 pieces of wood. In retrospect, this is a bridge we're talking about, so I guess it makes sense. Here you go. Uh. Hmm? It's wood! 20 pieces of it! Must have been a real pain in the neck collecting that on your own. Sure I can have it? Nodders. Uh. Aces! Thanks for helping me out at such a late hour. All right, that's all the materials. Uh. Come on, Gassane. Time to fix this busted bridge of yours. Son and done! Gassane, let's plunk this down a little further to the left. Not that far. 
It's falling down the cliff, Timber! Whew, good catch. Those wings sure come in handy, eh? They're, uh, wingy. Hey, don't set your tail down there. It's a support beam, not a perch. Now for the finishing touch. Here goes. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why Everson chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes, feeling pumped. Gotta get this done in well fell, one fell swoop. Son and done. The bridge, it's finished. Amazing, fantastic. Now we can carry those supplies across. Oh. Gotta say, I was a little worried how it turned out. But what a beaut. You hit this bridge with 10 blizzards at once and it wouldn't so much as creak. Ah. With that done, life in Rito Village should return to something like normal. I will take responsibility for girding the bridge. Please accept this gift. Hey, more money. I had that money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you'll get some use out of it. Oh. And with that, I'm off to look at landing. You're saying if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running. No problem, it's too small. Ah. Thank you. That's very reassuring. And the same goes for you. You have an open invitation to call upon our help. Uh. A bridge connecting the Hylians and the Rito, literally and otherwise, is going to make a great article. Sick. Ten. Are you in here? Are you in here being sad? Got bird pression? I hope he's not sad. Ten's too much of a good boy to be sad. What the? Oh, it's a shadow. <sighs> I'm a little Yanni, a little Laurel. Anybody seen Pen? <laughs> I should probably cash in my my light. Get a stamina. I kind of want to spend it both on stamina. I want a third wheel. Pen isn't even a pin. False advertising, really. Yeah, false advertising. Yeah. Not even a penguin! Then the name would make sense. Give me more stamina. Ba -da -ba -da. Nice. Ben, you here? I like the little slappy sounds my feet make. Is he not here? Ben? So sweetie. So eepy. Hey, Teba. Doolin. What the? They have a side quest. Not right now. Pin's not here! I guess we'll never see him again. Then do be depressed though. Honestly, mood. Hashtag relatable.
The Zach Galifianakis Shrine. Did I mark an underground for that? I didn't. Wait, getting here has to be... Can you even get here? Because bodies of water are... Like stone. Like walls underground. Can you even get here? I need to find out. <laughs> we've we've entered the one more thing section of the stream. I need to know. <laughs> Is it possible to get in there? Alright, I need my Depth's outfit. Where is it? Step, 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 step. I'll keep the silly hat. Should also heal. Consume. Age in the six hour mark this tree. I mean, I I could. And it would be the same amount of time, like I'd be ending at the same time as normal. But like, I have work in the morning. I probably shouldn't. Let's go! This shouldn't take too long. We're just headed straight there. Got a bright bloom seeds. That's a Yiga. Not gonna bother with you. Change my weapon, I don't wanna use my... I don't wanna use my axe. Tickener light root. Can I get my... Can I get... Can I get my step? Thank you. Light it up. All right. We're headed yonder, way. I wonder if I even can get up there. Because it's possible that these are going to be... Like, uncrossable bridges. Or maybe they'll just be very high hills. I hope they're just high hills. High hills! I gotta find a way over. Let me learn. You'll never catch me, weird frog baby. Not even the real frog. They're just baby frogs. They're not adult frogs. Yep. Huh? Can I stand on this? And... Straight on up! Alright. God. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Here we go. 
As seems to be tradition, we're ending stream climbing in the depths. Up these massive cliffs every time. Coca-Cola and Tears of the Kingdom. Yippee! Oh boy. This is very dangerous. Exceedingly dangerous. But I will overcome! Hopefully. I mean, I'm almost to the top, and it's not marked as, um, as unscalable on my, on the mini-map, so. I've got to be able to make it over. I, it's surely, surely it's fine. I can do it. I can do this. I got this. Hold on. Hold on. We're good. Don't panic. I said, don't panic! We're okay. We're just really close to the roof. Ugh, stretch my back. I'm panicking! Stop it! Get a hold of yourself! Calm down! I did it. Like they say, everything's all right. Oh, I just gotta keep heading this way. Hit it stamp. Put a pin. Put a pin in it. That's a stone talus. I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. What, you think I'm going to fight you? I ain't got time for this. Jesus Christ. Um, keep forgetting this isn't SM64 and Link can't triple jump. Hut! 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 Uh, I seem to have hit a cliff. Now, nah, Link gets one jump. And his little glide ability. Do 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 Alright. Get in there. Kawumoro. Look at all that light. One of these days is gonna cost me. Never disrespect the Mario. The plumber will take his due. Three dollars and sixty seven cents. Exactly. It's about uh, tree thitty is about how much Mario will take from you. Is that a Rito statue? These might lead us into Rito Village.
They broke it. What the? Hey, what gives? That's strange. There should definitely be something up ahead. Are you investigating this place too? Look, see how this stone statue's fallen into the wall? These statues are typically set in rows with the one in sight leading to the next until they stop at an old mine. This is different. This chain of statues ends here. I looked all over, but there's no sign of an old mine. Could it somehow be inside this wall? But I don't see any other in kind of entrance. <laughs> ah, well. Found you here, so at least the statues led me to a hero. Huh? Look at his lips. Your life is mine! This guy is really colon threeing. Anyway. But I gotta go inside. Ascend into the bird's penis. Out his ass. All right, not exactly what I was wanting. Maybe up here? No. I obviously need to get inside. Okay, colon three. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that guy literally said colon three. I'd watch, but I have to go. I understand the more I... We're just doing this one thing anyway. I hope you have a nice day. When the heck am I supposed to get up there, though? Examine. Examine? All the statues buried in the wall. You don't say. Can't move it, can I? Can I rewind it? Hmm. It wants me to go up, I bet. Well done! Hey. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's go. Edna! Ascend! Go up! Pull up! Eh. Alright, that didn't work. This wall is discolored. Why is this wall discolored? Never mind, this wall isn't discolored. Some of them are just that color. Ignore me. Yep. See, the bridge is, is literally, literally, right there. Go grab these pose. Ah, oh, man. Get him. Yeah, go, you know, Bo. Get him, Sidon. Good job. Alrighty. Hey, wasting my durability on a frox? What do you mean?
All right, so. The bridge is right here. So let's climb this. Frog. Frogs. They're just a, a cute little freaks that grow into big, ugly, hungry freaks. Freak of the week! Hmm. I don't think this is going to help me. What is this kind of rock? Oh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, never mind. I thought I was in a cave. Oh, boy. Hold up. Do some. He said, a oh, whoa. He did do that. He did say a oh, whoa. Can I send him to his knee? What if I just walk up his back? is up top that looks like something up there have you tried no clipping yeah what is that yeah my way oh i think it's just the roof I don't know. Whatever. Not happening today. Not getting st stun locked for another hour. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you all for hanging out. This was a lot of fun. Low energy, but a lot of fun. Tomorrow, I think we should do the Gerudo quest that sounds like a good time so i will see you all tomorrow i hope you had a good time and i will see you all later